So look what Hans put together for our lunches today. <laughs> we finally have veggies. So that's my lunch. Where's yours? <laughs> <laughs> Last week on How to Get Lost in WA, we take you on a hunt for the Cape Naturalist Lighthouse and find the other side of the moon instead. We also go on a search for the Indijap Natural Spa. This week we take you to the beautiful Bustleton Jetty and walk the entire length of it, as well as head to Bunbury to try to find some dolphins. So we've just turned up in Bustleton and we're visiting the Bustleton Jetty today. And this place is packed. We just drove past the park and there's an awesome dog show on, so we're going to go watch that for a bit. But apparently there's a, um, a fair or a carnival on today and there's like live bands. And car shows, so we've picked the right day to come, hey bub? Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. This is a timely, timely event. Yeah, so we're probably going to end up spending the whole day down here, which is going to be really fun. Let's do it. This is legit the coolest playground I have ever seen in my whole life. You want to play on it, don't you? I do want to play on it. I really want to play on it. There's so many kids there. We should be born in this era. I know. This is an awesome town. Oh, there's like a water park over there. There's a whale. What? Look at all the flukes. This is like a dog training thing. I reckon they're doing a show though. For about now, I feel like my face is burnt, but um, we legit come all the way to Bustle to it just to watch a floof show. <laughs> and you've learned a few things for Eddie. I've learned a lot of things that Eddie will never be able to do. We're heading now to Jetty, maybe grab some hats for us. We're going yeah, it's really hot today. Uh, yeah, right. So, we just spent an hour watching the choir. And checking out a floof show or a dog show. I've got to stop saying floof for dogs, it's not the right word. Um, we just came and got a snack, and we're gonna go walk Bustleton Jetty because that's the whole main reason we came here. Uh, see what's what in Bustleton. This jetty is so long, so apparently it's the longest jetty in the southern hemisphere, and it ends all the way over there. Is this longer than Ride Jetty, babe? Yeah. Did you know turtles really love to travel? Apparently we're turtles. Apparently we're turtles. Maybe we can be the travelling turtles. Wait till we get to... Oh, the travelling turtles. Do you like that for an Instagram name? <laughs> the travelling turtles. So Bustleton Jetty is in fact a 1.8 kilometre long jetty that extends out into the ocean. It costs us a $4 donation each to walk it. There is also a small and very cute train that will take you to the end and back for a fee. You can also pay to dive or snorkel under the jetty or stay dry by checking out the underwater observatory at the end. Now that we know the distance, um, at the end of this we would have done 3.6 k's of walking. Oh, on concrete in thongs. Yeah, it's... <laughs> really need to plan ahead now. After we finished that ridiculously long walk, we stopped to have some lunch on the Bustleton foreshore. Shall I say, are you eating again? <laughs> okay. Why do I feel when I eat it? Because you eat so weird. Have a little mouth. Do it. Takes me a long time to finish a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing came off it. It takes me a long time. <laughs> 
Cool. So we've just finished up at Bustleton. We walked the um, 1.8 one way kilometer jetty. So it ended up being like 3.6. 3.6k. <laughs> Wait, no, 1.8 times 2. Is it 3.6? Trust me. 3.6 kilometers. <laughs> um, and it's really warm today. So we are going to, we're feeling a bit lazy, so we're going to head to Bunbury and go to the Dolphin Discovery Centre because apparently you can just sort of chill out on the beach for $10 and you can wade with the dolphins but also just lay on the sand and get a tan. So that sounds like a nice idea to us. Yeah, and uh, I think we got a little bit sketchy. We didn't really see too many people. Uh, yeah, we were going to snorkel here, but um, the, the Westpac chop was flying around, so I was kind of like, oh god, there's going to be a shark out there. Um, and also there's not that many people snorkeling, there was a few dive groups out, but just seemed a bit odd. So we decided not to snorkel Bustleton Jetty. Um, we did speak to the tour lady at the information desk and she said it's perfectly safe to dive and to snorkel, but we figured we're going to Rottnest tomorrow and then we're going up to the Coral Coast. So we'll do a ton of snorkeling up that way. Yeah, project um, to be had underwater. Yeah, so, but if you are in Bustleton, it's definitely if it's warm enough, go for a dive. We saw a ray that was just swimming alongside the jetty. And um, if you do walk the jetty, make sure, because is about to crash the car, no, no. make sure you um, wear proper footwear because I wore thongs and my feet are killing me. But no, Bustleton, thumbs up, loved Bustleton. Yeah. If you come on a day like today with the dogs, school group, you have- Yeah, there was a music fate on and there was like a dog show and a car show and like food trucks and things around. So it was really, really fun. Thumbs up for Bustleton. Yeah, it's awesome. Hey Bunbury! Look, they've all got their little mini docks like Martha Co. Yeah, it's really cool. This place is crazy. We need to wash our windscreen so badly. Oh, it's so whole car needs wash. Yeah, well, it's a bit of time from, from now until then, but yeah, let's that's right. Take something off. We're gonna go buy me a new snorkel mask at BCF now, and then head back home. Maybe get some fish and chips in Bustleton. Yeah, because Bustleton was beautiful. Tomorrow, I'm gonna take a five day hiatus into yes, uh, off to Rottnest. Rottnest. So, we're off to Rottnest tomorrow. And we're preparing ourselves. I'm really sunburnt, so I look hideous. I'm sorry. Um, we're just trying to work out what we need. So I'm going to set you up on a time lapse so you can see how we pack for a four day trip to Rottnest, which is not what normal people do. Most people just go for a day. Yeah. But we're not normal people, are we, hun? No. We wanted to just chill out, go snorkeling, just lay on the like beach. Cycle around the island, just. Oh, a real hiatus. Yeah, this is our holiday on our holiday. So we've got to work out how to pack for it first though, because we are camping on Rottnest, which should be fun.